Hey guys, so this is going to be a different type of video today. Obviously, I am not in the video, and that is because I really want to show you guys some of the new planner supplies I got, and a lot of the planner videos are done just like this, so you can really see the details of stuff that you have going on and whatnot. So, um, somebody commented on my Instagram and was like, hey, I would really like for you to do some planner videos. I think that would be fun. Hi friends, just stopping in because I forgot to mention that I made a planner Instagram. So if you want to follow me and see my weekly spreads and things like that, head on over to at Planner Parker on Instagram and check out my new Instagram. Okay, cool. Back to the video. So I am going to do that and I am excited to film my first planner video. I think this is going to be fun. I've got basically a planner haul for you guys today. I've gotten a couple more stickers and I also got something new from Erin Condren. So I'm super, super, super excited and let's go ahead and get started. Now I'm filming this at a very strange angle because I don't know it's upside down and this was the easiest way I could think to do it so we're just going to give this a try but the first thing I have is from none other than Erin Condren it came in this beautiful little envelope and I actually have already taken it off because this is my new baby this is a new Erin Condren life planner cover this is um, the same planner as before as you guys have seen before but um, I got a new and I'm upside down so it's gonna be weird I'm gonna try to show you I don't know how to do this but it has my name on it and it says dream create laugh work live on it you're not gonna be able to see this I don't think I'm trying I'll flip this around so you can actually see it but it is the same pattern as my um, carry-all clutch which you guys have seen before I talked about it in my last favorite video but I am so excited this finally came in I love it I love it I love it and it's just this pattern on the back as well so I am super super excited about that and the next things I have to show you guys are actually some sticker packs and actually they are in the back of here and I'm going to show them to you. Okay, so I have got a ton of stickers to show you guys, and I'm actually not going to um, show you every single sticker that I have in my collection because these are just some new ones that I thought I would share with you from a couple of different Etsy shops as well as um, a online store that I'll talk about in a second. The first ones that I want to show you guys, I have to kind of gather here, give me just a second, are some stickers from the Etsy shop Libby and Co. You can see their logo there on that um, sticker sheet. But these are actually um, full sheets of stickers and I cut them into smaller ones so that they would fit in my little accordion file just because it makes everything easier. So I'm going to show you the different ones that I got. The first thing that I got is the July kit. I will show you all of the little pieces that I have. Okay, yep, so the first thing I got is the July kit from Libby & Co. Again, these are um, actually like full sheets, like they're about the size of your Erin Condren planner, but um, I decided to cut them up so they're easier to store. But this is the July kit, which basically is just a bunch of like functional stickers to use um, in your planner for the month of July. These do not match the Erin Condren uh, colors exactly, which I kind of wish that I had gotten this Girl Prince Co. one, um, but her shop closed, so that's okay. Um, but I, this basically has like little checklist. It has some like teardrops, some coffee cups, a little um, mail sticker, and then some weekend banners and stuff like that. And you can see that I've used a couple of these things. These are really awesome. These do not look like they would fit in your Erin Condren headers, but you actually peel them off and they are not rounded like that and they fit perfectly. So I really like those. These are just, again, some more like functional stickers. Um, and these were some borders I used in my planner, which I can show you guys in a second. And then these are just some flags for different things. And I have liked those. I will say that I don't think I would order these again for the things that you write on. I have used them, but you actually have to use like a true to life, like fine point Sharpie and you can't use like a Stadler pen. Um, so that's kind of annoying because I use a Stadler pen on everything else. So to have to switch to a different pen to write on stuff is a little annoying, but I do love the little like functional icons and the weekend banners and stuff. And this shop is really cheap compared to a lot of them. You get like double the amount of stickers for like the same price as some of the other shops. So while they're not like the best quality out there, they are really cheap and some of the stuff is like totally worth buying cheaper. For instance, I bought some of the to-do headers from 
Libby & Co because these suckers are expensive in a lot of shops, but these were like $3 and they have as many to-do stickers as a lot of the other ones that are $3 and they're just like this. So these are really, really great. Lots of color variety and I think I will continue to order my to-do headers from this shop because they are so cheap and I just really love them and they're great. They're really useful again for making little to-do lists in your Erin Condren which is what I do most days so I really like those. Next thing I got was totally not what I expected them to look like when I um, ordered them online. I'm missing one of them. I guess it doesn't really matter that much because they're all the same um but are these paw print stickers now i got these um to mark stuff with Ryder, who is my um little six month old puppy um and i actually these appeared much smaller on the etsy shop than they are actually in person but i do like them again these are really cheap and they've got a ton of different colors and i do like them so i have been using those and i think i would repurchase these but if i could find some that are a little bit smaller i might go for smaller ones but those are really good for the price next thing i have from libby and co are these little televisions which i love i've wanted some tv stickers um since i started doing you know real like decorative planning and these again are super cheap really cute and a ton of different colors and i really like those they are again a weird type of sticker paper they're like a weird label um but i do like these and i think i would definitely reorder those again because they're super cheap and there's a ton of them so i love those and then she also sent this little like freebie sampler pack which just has a couple different little like beach themed summer themed ones like a little crab and a whale and a beach ball and that's super cute I don't really know what I will use this for because I've already been to the beach this summer but super cute and I'll keep that around maybe for next summer the next company I have something from is Carolina's crafts and this is actually a custom order and she was nice enough to do a full sheet of red heart checklist which I do all of my YouTube planning with I'll show you on this week every day i or every time i upload a video i have this little section here which this might be out of focus i'm trying to zoom if you can see i have my like video planned out and then i have a little checklist so i can do film edit upload thumbnail you know all of that stuff there which these are really super useful for that and i'm really glad that i have them and they weren't super expensive and this will last me so many videos before i have to reorder so that is exciting and i really like that so thank you for doing that custom order for me and then the last etsy shop that i have is a um scribble prints co july mystery box now these are really popular she's not actually doing the mystery boxes anymore but i was so excited to get my hands on one of these this is the july mermaid mystery box and i'll show you what came in this i'm so excited so the first thing on this um in this kit are oopsies little teardrops and these are different patterned teardrops they have different patterns and they're small um little teardrops and i think those are so cute because it's kind of like scales and waves and i love those it also came with this little decorative sticker which has a bunch of different little sea creatures that are so cute this clip art is adorable and i love it next thing is basically those little teardrops again except for these are bigger and they're again super cute i do use these quite a bit in my spreads so i love those these are maybe my favorite these are little flags and they're pattern flags and then they have different little sayings on them like i believe in mermaids always be yourself unless you can be a mermaid and always be a mermaid when all else fails be a mermaid mermaid kisses and starfish wishes which is my favorite and then under the sea and a bunch of really adorable colors and i love those so much and then we have which i'm very excited about some half boxes i really want to order some more of these but i really really love those they're kind of coming off of the sticker sheet but that's okay um i love those then we have the infamous heart checklist these are awesome and i use these in every single spread so i need to get some more but those are cute and they match the theme then you have same full boxes, which again are in that same color scheme and pattern scheme. Super, super, super cute. I love those. Washi stickers, which are my favorite, I think, from um, the Scribble Prints Co. Because I use these, like I layer them a lot and put little icons like on the edge of these and you can write on them really easily. So I love those. think those are so cute. And again, that same pattern. I'm excited. 
And then of course you have the decorative little sheet, which these are such cute little mermaids. And this one kind of looks like Ariel and um, they'll just be really fun to decorate with. Whenever I decide to do a mermaid themed week, I haven't decided when I'm gonna do that yet, but it's really cute. And then again, maybe my favorite stickers from um, Scribble Prints Co. So to do, to clean, to go, to buy, to watch, and to call. And I love these. Again, I wanna get so many of these when her shop reopens. I love them and I love that these are patterned and I love the colors. So they're so stinking cute and I love those, love those. So that is it for the July mystery box. So cute. She's not doing mystery boxes anymore, but she is going to be doing like themed um, little kits every month now in her shop. So her shop reopens on the 19th and so you should definitely go and check her out. And just so you know, Every single one of those shops, I actually did not pay full price for any of those stickers because I have coupon codes. So I'm gonna link the Etsy shops and stuff down below and also all of the coupon codes that I know of so you guys can get some discounts and stuff as well as a $10 off coupon for Erin Condren. If you use my little like referral link, you get $10 off. So I'll definitely leave all those down below. And this is actually the only thing that I paid full price for. And this is the, oh my God, check out these cute stickers pad from Bando and this is amazing. I actually have a phone charger that is from the same company and is like the same color scheme, but this is so cute. It is a sticker book and this has so many stickers in it and they're just so cute. Like they have different little headers, nail appointment, hair appointment, like letters, just a bunch of different little like sayings and birthday headers and stars and then all these little symbols and like Oh my god, this is so cute, and I've used a couple um, of stickers from this so far, but I think that this is just so cute and so worth the money. I think this was like $12, but you get like over 200 stickers, and it's adorable, and all of the stickers, you can see some of the stickers on the back, there's a good sample, and it's just so stinking cute, and it says, oh my god, check out these cute stickers, which... They are cute stickers and I love them. So that is everything that I got in my little planner haul. I hope you guys enjoyed getting to see what is in, you know, what I'm using to decorate my planner. If you would like to see more videos about planners, um, you know, like maybe like a planner flip through of like all of the different decorations and stuff that I've done, I would love to do a video about that. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. In the meantime, my name is Parker. This is Stories in the Dust and I really hope you'll stick around a while. Bye, guys.